Hey guys, Kakarot197 again, and it's been a while since I've done one of these unboxing videos, but a special occasion asks for a special video. I was recently invited by Bandai to come over to their Mobile Suit Gundam AX VIP event of summer 2022, and not only was it a really cool event to be at, video will be coming soon, either tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, but we also got a really cool bag that was full of really cool stuff. Now the first thing I want to mention is that I'm recording this video after I already came back home. So you might be noticing some scuffs on the bag or like some of the boxes will be a little bit scrunched up. And that is of course because I had to take the airplane home and we all know how well suitcases are treated. I also had a layover, so my suitcase had to suffer twice. But putting that aside, let's have a look at what was in the bag. And the first thing was another bag, a drawstring bag to be exact. And it's of course got the same logo on it. And it's a pretty nice drawstring bag as not only do we have the main compartment we get with all of them, but there's also a little extra compartment with some Velcro in the front and also a side pocket to put a drink in. And talking about drinks, one of the other things we got is this really nice bottle, which you can of course open up to put the drink in. And it's also got like an open and closing thingy with an included straw that I haven't opened up yet. So let's pull that out. That goes in here and there you go. And this is of course a very nice thing for when you're on the go. But if you're staying at home, we also have this really nice AX VIP Gundam mug, which has an extra special something in it. A stress ball thing in the shape of a hamburger with Gundam AX VIP on it. And well, it's a stress relief thing. There's not too much I can say about that. Um, but I can definitely tell you that I will be using this mug a lot. Of course, coffee being one of my main drinks of choice. And we also got some other stuff with um, the same logos on it. We got some stickers. We got this fan from Gundam Evolution, which unfortunately wasn't really the best. Um, I tried using it for a little bit and it quickly became loose because, well, the construction just isn't the best. You can see the seam right here. So yeah, this came apart really quickly. This is really something that's for decorative purposes only. Fortunately, it does look really nice with uh, the gun tank icon on it. And of course, Gundam Evolution coming in 2022 on the back. Then still in the bag, we also have this poster, which I haven't actually unfolded yet, but I'm fairly certain this is just going to be the same um, Gundam VIP event. Oh, it looks like it's two posters, maybe, or just one really long one. It is just one really long one. And it is, again, the Gundam right there. So that's, that's also a pretty cool thingy. And then the final novelty is definitely my favorite one. Creative 3D visualization lamp, whole new generation of 3D visual RGB lamp, colorful gradient touch dimmer gift of choice. Now, <laughs> putting aside the fact that it reads like an AliExpress description, um, description, an AliExpress title, uh, the thing inside is pretty damn cool. When I first opened this up, I wasn't really sure what it was. Like, is it some kind of display base for um, your mobile suits, like your Gumbla or your action figures? But then I noticed this thing, which at first I just shoved aside because it has like this, um, this side was up. But then when you completely unbox it, it's unbox it. It is like one of those acrylic displays, which um, if I can get this off, Two hours later. And we put that in there. We also have this USB cable, which I can then just plug into my power bank and see how this thing is going to be. 
And here you have a video showing the effect that was shot later because there was no way it was going to show up with my lamps shining at it. And well, the one thing that this immediately reminded me of was like, you know those pens that you can like customize with your name or your company logo to then give them out? It's like that, but a bit more fancy. And now I really wonder if I can get one of these and like customize it with um, a Mayron image or something like that. But let's move on and have a look at some of the figures that were in the box because it wasn't just novelty items that you may or may not care about, but we actually got some really cool figures as well. We have everyone's favorite Barbs as um, a Gundam Infinity action figure. And I don't have any of these um, Infinity figures yet. Well, I didn't have any yet, but now I do have the Barbs. And out of all of the ones that I could have gotten or they could have given, I think this is definitely one of the better ones out there. Also because of um, the Zaku accessories we're getting because these can actually be used by the Barbs rather than getting a half usable like limb or torso or head. It might not be the best action figure ever, but there's definitely something nice about a Barbs that you can equip with uh, Zaku weaponry. And I guess for easy customization, um, this action figure lineup does offer you something. But moving on to the other figures that we got, which are somewhat more interesting, I would say. Um, Gundam Converge. This is the um, Unicorn Gundam 1 Destroy Mode Final Battle version. Now, as these aren't really my cup of tea, but the Gundam Converge ones do definitely have some really cool figures in their lineup. And I also do appreciate the fact that we get a nice variety of Gundams. It's not just all Unicorn or all RX-78 too, because that's of course going to be um, the main machine of the Gundam VIP event, because well, it is the main Gundam. But no, instead we got um, the Barb's action figure, we get the Converge Unicorn, and as you will soon see, um, we get some other things of other main Gundams. That is our Unicorn Gundam Final Battle version. Let's put that to the side. And of course, then the other main Gundam that we just, that everyone just can get enough of is the Strike Gundam. Personally, one of my favorite mobile suits. So I was really happy when I saw this in the bag. And it is the new G-Frame full armor um, version and also the phase shift down version. So not only is it my, one of my favorite Gundams, it's also in one of my favorite color schemes because one thing I gotta say about the phase shift down version of the Gundams is that it just looks so nice. So I will be putting this together after the video and you can now enjoy some of the images on screen right now. And of course, it wouldn't be a Gundam event without some RX-78 2 things as well. And this is the RX-78 2, well, 144 scale RX-78 2 Gundam building experience version. And when I first saw the box and it being like grayscale, I thought, is this going to be like a G3 custom or like a painting model version like we recently saw with, I think it was the entry grade Strike Gundam, but it is just the normal RX-78 2 Gundam, which is slightly dumbed down and made easier to, well, be an easy building experience thingy, something that Bandai can also eat more easily give out for a lower cost. But despite being um, a cheaper version of the RX-72, this one does still look fully featured. Um, I might be doing a review on this. I'm not entirely sure yet, but I will definitely be building this and keeping it aside for a Gumpla history on the RX-78 too, because I am slowly working my way towards that. And then the other RX-72 thingy we're getting is the ultimate luminous one, Luminosité Suprême. And one thing that I didn't mention yet is that um, if I remember correctly, 
all of the figures and the lines they belong to were on display at the Gundam VIP event. So I got to see these luminous figures and I gotta say in like the ambient uh, light they had going at the VIP event, these things looked extremely nice. Just as with um, the LED base over there, it's probably not going to look that great with my lamps going on at the moment, but um, the pictures I can take after this video are probably going to look really good. Like, I know I got the um, the RX-782, but the Zaku and the Monoai, like uh, we got him right here on the back, Zaku with Rifle and Axe and Char Zaku with Bazooka, those things looked fantastic. Like, I knew these were going to be good, but I'm I was honestly surprised by just how good they were. And the only thing that I was a little bit disappointed by um, with this figure in particular is that just the beam saber looks a little bit wimpy. I like my beam sabers to be a little bit longer. But one cool thing about the beam sabers is that the ones in the back, even though they're dummies, you can remove them. So it now does look like he drew the beam saber. So now we put this on, even though it's not the Zaku, this is still really nice looking. Now, if only there was a system that the light would also be fed through to the beam saber, that would have made this thing perfect. But moving along with, um, this is already the final figure that was in the bag, and that is the second phase of Gundam Artifact. Also, um, what I did not know about the Gundam Artifact line is that it actually says the figure inside on top. And this would have been really handy when I went to the Gundam base and bought myself two of the Phase 1 Gundam Artifact ones. So I thought these were just completely random like um, gachapons, but Fortunately, I got lucky and I got two of the three that I wanted. I got the X's Gundam and the High New Gundam. And then the other one that I obviously also wanted was the Byerland Custom. So yeah, next time I'll definitely be getting myself a Byerland Custom of a Gundam Artifact. Like, gotta love to finally have gotten my hands on some of these really detailed resin-esque Figures. Now let's see what the best way is to open one of these. There we go. Also, even though there is a Zaku 3 that I could have gotten, the always bulky Zaku 3, I must say the two that I was hoping for was either the full armor Gundam or the gym. For the simple reason that the phase 2 redesigns aren't really my kind of thing. But I can definitely see um, the appeal. Oh! Oh, oh, nice, nice. I got, okay, so I don't know if they deliberately put um, one of the uh, special, like this is the prize figure, but like a, the secret one uh, that you can get. Normally they're supposed to be like the resin-esque color, but Wow, I'm actually taken aback. I did not know this was gonna be in there. That is so cool. Not only did I get the gym, but I got the secret gym. This is awesome. Wow. Damn. Okay. So what I wanted to say was I don't know if this is if they actually deliberately put the secret version of the Gundam artifact in the box, or if I just got lucky upon lucky. Which would be awesome too. So, um, yeah, let's move on. And talking about being lucky, this is technically everything that was in the bag. But everyone attending the VIP event did get one more thing by default. And that was a Gachapon ticket that you, can, that you could then use for um, a Gachapon machine, obviously. Where you would then get one free Gachapon. And mine is the almighty ball. So again, I was pretty happy to get the ball. Although, from the lineup that we could have gotten, I could have gotten um, the, Hazel, um, the Hazel Ozla. So yeah, the Hazel Ozla mass production new Gundam might have been a little bit better than the ball, 
but at the same time, I also couldn't complain because um, there was one other thing that you could win with these gachas. On some of the gachapon balls, they also had a little paper on them, oh, well, taped on them, and that said that you won an extra prize, being high grade, master grade, real grade, and I think those were the ones. And I got lucky because the machine I selected also gave me a high grade. And my gachapon ball is gonna fall, there we go. <laughs> and therefore I also got an extra Zaku Desert type double antenna type or the rabbit antenna as some of them as some of you might also know it and well you really can't go wrong with a zaku from the origin you can go wrong with anything from the origin really so i was definitely really happy when i saw that i won an extra high grade and that this thing was part of the model kits i could choose so the way it worked was um the ticket just said which grade you won, and then you could choose one of uh, the model kits they had on the table. So really happy that I won this thing. And then there is still one extra thing that I got from the Bandai representatives over there. And that is the real grade Zeta Gundam. Now, I will say gifting someone the Zeta Gundam can be interpreted multiple ways due to the reputation of this thing but i'm just going to take that as bandai having faith in my building skills i'm a glass half full person and then my final keepsake of the event is this raffle ticket now at two times during the event they had a raffle uh, you could win like high grades real grades perfect grades even and during the second raffle Someone won the perfect grade, but that person was not in the room. They even waited a little bit to make sure everyone could really check their coupons to make sure that it wasn't them, like that, that they didn't misread it or something went wrong. But the person didn't show up and they drew another ticket. So F in the comments for the person who literally missed out on a free perfect grade. I think it was the perfect grade unicorn. I don't really remember because I was just feeling so bad for the person who just missed out on it. Like my whole mind was like, oh my God, just imagine that being you missing out on a free perfect grade. That hurts. Oh, and then the final free Gundam related thing I got is a Gundam Evolution lanyard that I got at the Gundam Evolution stand. Um, so yeah, that has been all for this unboxing video. A big thanks to Bandai for inviting me over at the event and for giving all of us really cool goodie bags. Like, as I said, there was a really good mix in this. We got some novelty items, we got some figures, some Gumpla, and also of the figures and Gumpla inside, it was a really good mix of things. An RX-72, a Barps, a Unicorn, a Strike, or some random things, a really cool selection. And overall, I gotta say it was really well done. A really well done goodie bag for a really cool event. Which, as I said in the beginning of this video, I will also be covering in a future video in like uh, two to three days. So stay tuned for that. As for now, another big thanks to the Patreon supporters. I hope everyone watching has a great day and I'll see you all next time.